we'll need to start by creating a false bottom. For this, I chose to use red lava rock. It has a lot of space in between and is also porous, which will allow for great water flow. I added a window screen, and the next layer consisted of some black lava rock. This will act as a secondary barrier to keep any plant matter from getting to the false bottom. It also will look cool being layered on top of the red lava rock. Well, in my opinion anyway. Our next order of business was to take some pieces of cork bark and establish a perimeter of where our water feature was going to be. Our centerpiece is a piece of driftwood which I had left over from a previous aquarium build. It honestly couldn't have fit more perfectly and when flipped on its side it actually kind of resembles a dead tree of sorts. I hollowed out the center of the water feature and built up the banks. Premium aquarium gravel is what will constitute our next layer. The goal here is to try to build up the banks and keep as much of it out of the center where the water feature will go. I'll include links in the description for anyone attempting this at home. Next it was time to seed the aquarium. I have some super fertile soil in which I have a ton of springtails and other bioactive life and we're going to steal some of that and this is going to be our base layer for the potting soil essentially. We want to be very careful not to get any into the depression where the water is going to go or else it's going to murky up our water immediately. It's time for some plants and we're going to steal them out of my volcano vivarium. We'll go for some Christmas moss, which also by the way has a ton of bioactive life underneath in the soil. My creeping fig has been out of control for a while. This plant is great because it sheds a lot of leaves, which will provide a lot of food for the microfauna living inside our ecosystem. I built up a barrier consisting of the Christmas moss from the vivarium as well as some re-soaked sphagnum moss. This should serve nicely uh, and be multifunctional actually. It's going to prevent any of the bioactive soil from getting into our water and when the roots start to take it'll also hold the gravel in place and keep it from falling down the slope. Pretty much everything rests on the, the depression not filling with gravel. This ruby red has a great root system and that should serve the function well. We'll take some more moss and some ADA aqua soil, uh, which is a type of fertilizer that's safe for water, and we'll put that by the root system to help the roots take hold and also to give it a boost to get it started. It's all starting to come together. We're almost ready for the microfauna that will live in this tank. So we're going to go ahead and add some super pig so that way they get a good head start before some of the dead leaves and dead plant matter is available to eat. We'll start with some tropical isopods. These guys will eat a lot of the dead plant matter throughout our little ecosystem and keep it nice and clean.
go home. There you go. I also added some miniature snails. Why, you ask? Because I can, that's why. Perfect. I also went ahead and sliced in a little bit of cuttlefish bone. This will add extra calcium and help the isopods grow. It'll be a slow release type of thing for them. Go ahead and give her a little misting down. Those plants are looking a little thirsty. This is always my favorite part. Just a little more. Inevitably, algae is going to grow in there, so we're going to have to combat that. And some common aquarium snails should be perfect. If they ever run out of food, they lay eggs like crazy, so there should always be a new generation coming down the road. I wanted to keep misting it and make sure I get this really humid and soaking. That way it gets a great fresh start. I threw a piece of carrot and a couple pieces of fish food in there for the snails and a bigger chunk of carrot for the isopod. Now there's only one thing left to do. And just like that, we have a biodome that will survive an apocalypse. Y'all know what to do.